Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. I'm going to NEB tomorrow. So if you're at NEB, um, shoot me a direct message or something like that. If you want to stop by and say hello, definitely let me know. That'd be pretty cool to meet up with you guys. All right, so this particular test that I'm doing right here, I'm testing the Rode video mic, the one I've had for a couple of years. It's a good sounding mic, uh, not too bad. And this is the one I just got in. It's the Zoom H1, about $100. And I'm filming with a Canon 5D Mark III, and the Rode video mic is being plugged right into the mic input. Um, in terms of the gain structure of where I've got this one set is right in the middle. And I was watching the levels, actually I took the camera off, I was just holding it like this, and I was watching the levels as I was talking. And they're pretty set very similar to how I've got this one particular set. Um, so. The thing is, what I really want to tell the difference is, and what I'm going to be doing in this video is switching back and forth between the, the 5D audio with the Rode video mic and the H1. So you're going to hear me, you'll see a little annotation on the side of the screen back and forth. So what I've noticed with the H1, it's very uh, syllabant. Um, so when you say words with S's in it, like sisters, Sally sells seashells on the seashore, this one's very, and I'm not going to EQ or do anything like that. So let's just do that twice. Once for this mic and then once for this mic. All right. Sister Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Now let's do it for the, this one. Sister Sally sells seashells by the seashore. It's tough to say sometimes. So in my voice, I don't know if my voice is very sibilant, but I was doing a corporate interview uh, or corporate video uh, with this screen screen. Uh, last few days, and I noticed his voice was very sibilant on this particular microphone. Um, so basically, I'm just going to test these out. I don't know what the results are. Um, I'm going to guess that this one's going to sound a little bit better. I'm not too sure. Because one of the things, the options I'm looking at is I'm thinking about getting something similar to this, but maybe the Rode video, it's the Rode mic that has a built-in audio recorder that's similar to this one, and that you can just attached right on the top of your camera. Um, that's kind of an option I'm looking at next. Um, Cause I don't know if I'm happy with this one yet. All right, so if you're going to NEB, um, hook, you know, just send me an email or something like that. Maybe we can hook up. And I will not be doing like lots of, you know, man on the street news reporting type stuff. That's just not my style. I will be recording a lot of stuff and I'll probably just be recording it on my iPhone. Um, that I'll probably be releasing over time once I get back. I'm not going to be in a rush to, to put it all out. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison test. And um, maybe in the background, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but maybe I'll put some different things in the background, make it a little bit more compelling. Um, I will, another thing, I, I did a whole green screen, a different green screen lighting uh, setup that I've been doing for years. I just got a whole bunch of different equipment for that and I will do a video on that and I'm using some different soft boxes um, perhaps I'll do a video on that as well all right talk to you guys later bye